Oilano, we're at the Levaya, Rav Chaim, lost Galba Nokim, Rav Zirta Zilberstein spoke today, he said the Medrash and Shir Shirim, Isha Shkoilis, Isha Shkoilis, somebody who's connected, Kol Kla Yisrael, is Nifter, so Isha Shkoilis, somebody has Tira, Shas, Babli, Shami, Sifra, Sifri, all the Svarim, someone like that. When Kla Yisrael is Sakana, what happens when Minas Adin comes? Takes away an Adam Gan Elisha Shkoilius. Bajan Shir Hashem says that's Matzlal Kla Yisrael. Minas Adin is the spies in such a time when all when Kla Yisrael is in great danger. Minas Adin comes and takes away Elisha Shkoilius and saves all of Kla Yisrael. So Rabbi Yishak Zilberstein was there was nobody in the door like this. Nobody, nobody who had such a command on Kol Torah as as Rav Chaim. He was taking us. Who knows what Gazar Din? Who knows what decrees we were saved from? Because of this, and Rav Zilberstein said an incredible story. Um, it's a famous story, but he said it in a very um, poignant way that Rav Chaim was writing a sefer on Chagavim, Karni Chagavim. They had no idea what the Chagav looked like, and suddenly the Chagav appeared to him. It's a famous story about Rav Chaim, but the part that's not known is that when Rav Yeshua told the story, he almost fainted. Why? Because the um, Beis Yosef brings in Yeridea, so in Pei Beis, that um, there was a similar story brought about the Rishonim, Tosus Ri, and um, an animal appeared to the Ri as he didn't know what it was. So Rav Al Yashiv understood from this story that Rav Chaim and the din of a Rishon, it was like the status of Rishon, of someone of such a schos, status of Rishon. Oilano that we lost is such a battle today. Oilano that we are in such a state that Kalei Israel, as Rav Agurshan Elshin spoke. After Rav Yitzhak Shilvishtin, he said that um, when when someone, when Kala Yisrael loses a mashpia, right, the whole world is suffering. The whole world is suffering now. The Ashpah that we lost from Rav Chaim. Yeah? And when the Ashpah is lost, so Kala Yisrael is definitely, definitely in great, in great definitely in great danger um, in such a, in such a situation. <laughs> Oilanu, Oilanu that we lost such an ungodly and as the son of Shlom said that as children as children what do they do how do they play how did they play with Rav Chaim right this was 50 years ago this story in the long winter nights they would sit with the Sefer Maimarim would discuss him from the start of a book which lists all the Maimari Chazal and they would tell Rav Chaim a Maimar and he would tell you he would say the Makor for the Maimar that was Rav Chaim's shashua. That was how they played with Rav Chaim. This was the way that um, Rav Chaim played with his children. But don't think for a moment that Rav Chaim was such a big masmid, right, that he wouldn't have time to relate to his children. His children, he definitely related to them, his children. And each, of them, each of his children said that he was a loving father, and each of his grandchildren said he was a loving father, and he was a loving father for every single Jew in Kalei Israel, right? Said Rav Gershon, said Rav um, Gershon Edelstein, there was not one Jew in Klai Yisrael probably uh, that didn't benefit either from Chaim's brachas or Rav Chaim's teira, right, or something from, from Rav Chaim. Every single Jew. It was Isha Eshkoilis, who was someone who gave to every single Jew, who was someone who gave to all of Klai Yisrael. What a loss, what a loss for the Jewish people today as we accompany Rav Chaim in the Levaya um to the base of Kfaras. What a great loss. What a great loss for Kalei Israel. And Rav Yitzhak Zilberstein finished his hesped crying to Hashem. He said, when Adam Gadol is Nifter, this is a time that there's a tremendous, tremendous opportunity uh, of tefillah and Eis Ratzon, Kaddish Baruch Hu, uh, to answer our tefillahs. We should all cry out now as these moments that the final the final Pura of Rav Chaim should all cry out to Hashem she answered it feels there's so many Tzaras in Kala Israel, and especially in the last two years Rav Chaim was so sick so involved with the Tzaras the Tzaras of Corona and so many Tzaras that Kala Israel has Rav Chaim was so involved is the time for all of us to turn our hearts now towards Hashem and Davin for the of all of Kala Israel. just finish with one point that Rav Christian Edelstein said he said it so many times in the past few um, past few years, that everyone should be makabal on themselves to learn Sifri Musar, especially now that we lost the Ashbar of Chaim. Everyone should be makabal on themselves a few minutes a day 
to learn Sifri Musar and to uh, make this part of the life. Five, ten minutes a day you might make a major, major change in, in the life and every family. We should all be makabalists on ourselves. We should all be zeiche, karav, to be living lives of Torah and following Rabbi Chaim's footsteps to learn from his smada, to learn from his kindness. Just one more story from a Shlomo, um, his son. He said that he would answer many, many chuas every day. Rabbi Chaim answered hundreds of chuas. It was clear some of them were from little children. Like, and they asked him once, why do you waste your time answering these questions? He said, if they get chizak from it, then it's worth it. It's worth it for me if they get chizak from my words. Kodesh Baruch should send us rachamim and um, Rav Chaim should be a male to Yosher. She should be zoichet to the gula of a car of a man came